you pulled them closer. What's yeah. the science behind that? Like, why do you like, 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 you want, like, you want like, to smell them? Like, you want them to smell you? Like, I'm just being disrespectful. Like, like, come just here. A little bit more like, yeah, like, like, come here. <laughs> What's up? This is Out of Pocket, the hoop show for real hoop fans. I'm the Jethro Jenkins. Josiah Johnson Sr. I'm Zach Schwartz. Today, we have the maestro of the mountains, the Ooh. best rapper in the Rockies. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bones Highland. How What's you up, doing? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Good to be here, man. Good to be here. Best rapper in the league, too? Come on, Yeah, man. No, I, question. I, no question. No question. No question. Nobody yeah. want it? Nah. Is Dame close? I think Dame got it like lyrically, but like I feel like I got the best vibe. Okay, yeah, so yeah, yeah. what advice would you give to Dame to get on your level? I mean, I feel like he, I feel like he's more comfortable with his level. I feel like if he try to tap in, like what I do, it, it won't work. Well, we it need a versus. NBA, no, don't tell the NBA because they're gonna try to jack our swag. <laughs> yeah. Wave, Whoa, wave. Let's get the versus cracking. Yeah. <laughs> that would do numbers. So the Nuggets are one of the top teams in the West right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Everybody's yeah. like, you know, we're the best if we're healthy. What actually makes y'all the best team in the West? I feel like we play like team basketball. Like it, it's nobody being selfish or nobody worrying about, you know, points or accolades. I feel like everybody's just on the same string. Like, sure. and that's why, why we really like, like such a hot team right now and we just rolling. So I, I feel like we're going to carry this over and, and keep it going. But that's really one of the main things. We such an unselfish team and we just, we just rolling. Let's talk about you. Top 20, three point percentage. I had a, I don't really like stats normally. I'm just going to preface it. <laughs> I don't really get in that square world. We're like, oh, yeah, I, I'm not either. Yeah, I'm not either. But as of this statement, through the first six games in January, I think you were like 69% true shooting percentage, averaging like 16 a game. So I wonder what's been the just the, the key to your bucket getting success? It's really just me tapping and being busy. <laughs> I feel like, you know, I'm just being myself out there. Um, you know, I'm looking for my shot more. I feel like my shot is, is, is falling at a high clip. And uh, just going out there and just playing my game. I feel like it's, I'm playing with you know, no pressure like I've always been. And just going out there and just, and just having fun. For sure. We don't really fuck with the square media on this show. <laughs> like some people refer Facts. to us as media. We don't like that. We, we like don't that. like that. We, don't. we don't know them niggas. <laughs> I do. I watch them on occasion just to see how much far above them we are. But the thing about the square media, what they've been saying, y'all are one of the top teams in the West. Y'all been doing y'all thing all year. But a lot of people are saying that's just regular season. Y'all don't really have that that championship dog in you. Yeah. So when people say that, how does that make you feel? What's your response? I mean, it really like it just goes over top of my head, honestly. Okay. Um, cause I know I'm a dog, first of all, and then <laughs> I know the type, you know, team that I have. Like we're such a a health a healthy team right now. I feel like if we just you know stay healthy, everything else will fall in line for us. We're such a dominant team on both ends of the floor, so I feel like it. Everything else will, will play in part. If we just stay healthy. Okay. It's been gratifying for us, like seeing, the, like he's saying, the Square Media catch up, knowing how good you are. Yeah. And we're like, we're not surprised. We knew so, you told us, but we knew. And so watching you take these leaves, have you sort of surprised yourself at all? <laughs> nah, not at good. all. Uh, good answer. <laughs> good answer. <laughs> nah. Um, oh, confidence. You know, I just, I always, you know, say to myself, I want to be a, a, a superstar in this league. So, yeah. you know, the, the work that I put in daily, I feel like it's, it's speaking for itself with me, you know, the season I'm having so far. So, like I said, I, I just want to be great, and um, you know, I'm just 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 doing what I had to do. What's Coach Malone's biggest directive for you guys been this season? <clears throat> I feel like just buying into, you know, really winning championship habits. He preaches every day and uh, before every game, you know, go out there and and let's let's just be, you know, who we are. I feel like if we if we plan a team that's uh with a losing record, we plan a team with a winning record. Don't change who we are. So uh, he preaches that at a high level. Was there any bit that you guys saw, you know, the Colorado Avalanche won a title that yeah. you guys were a little bit like, okay, we got it, we want Man, next. I ain't gonna lie, when they when they won it though, I'm like, man, we have to be next. Like it's, <laughs> it, it, it was like a domino effect. Crazy, I'm like, yeah. man, this is crazy. Like, so if we do it, man, that's that'd be just crazy how it's just like three uh teams in a row. Idle town. Yeah, yeah. Go to, like do you crazy. go to hockey games? No, nah, I don't. I okay. want to though. I okay. heard it's very fun. Okay, that's I heard it's, fun, it's, 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 an, it's only fun to go live though. I will say, watch okay, it on TV. Sure. You can't really embrace okay. it, but yeah, 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 yeah. but getting nah, it at the Bruce game. Just, is, Bruce just went though. Bruce Brown just went, so he said it was really fun. Though he had fun, so I will probably go check it out. I just not a big fan. It's so cold in there. I ain't yeah. a fan that's of that. True. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't a big fan cold, of that. Man. Man. You don't have to know the game to enjoy it. Yeah, no, yeah, that is true. That is true. Yeah, yeah, that is true. I want to go to one of like the real rowdy games. Okay, yeah, yeah, Who's the Avalanche's like rival? Who is that? Uh, I don't think they really have one right now. <laughs> what are you just gonna say? We should tap into that. Maybe I could know. Uh, no, I'm, yeah, I'm just fair, saying. Fair, fair. It's, it's my right. fault. We can pick the right game yeah, to go yeah, to. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, Eric, oh, we're gonna so. get him some tickets. Then who do we? Be, who do they beef go, with? It's right, like, that's right, like right, Caucasian exactly. beef. Like you know, we're <laughs> the right game. You feel me? That's a lot of mayonnaise at the game. Can we? 
They can say <laughs> <That's> not- <laughs> That is a fact. <laughs> so you've been working out with Aaron Gordon. I saw you working out with him in the in offseason. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's had a great season. Mm-hmm. Like, how is it, like, watching him this season? Like, how's his preparation changed from, like, years before? Because he's having, like, a... A career season yeah, right now. Literally. I always say, like, you know, somebody asked me about AG. I always say this is the best season that he's having. Um, Crazy. You know, just uh, stat wise, um, just everything, man. I feel like he's not forcing anything and he's letting the game come to him. And uh, he's playing within the system and he's just being dominant and aggressive. That's when he's at his best. Like, Shooting I feel like. Well. Yeah, like, you know, pull up threes, he's just everything. Like, he, he feels so. I feel like he's so comfortable with his game right now that it's making him elevate throughout the mm-hmm. whole season. So, you know, we need AG to play like that and be that, you know, junkyard dog for us because that that's really needed. And um, the connection him and Yoke got, you know, the dump off passes, the lobs, that's, that's oh. big for us. So, we, we, we really need that, though. And Murray healthy? <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. How's yeah, it yeah. having him back? You know what Man, I mean? Big dog. Just, just really like a. I feel like he alleviates a lot of pressure just off of you know uh, Nicola, just as a uh, as a team too as well. Like he he brings so much to the team, scoring, uh, facilitating, and just his presence um, for like other teams when they adjust trying to uh, game plan for him. You know, I feel like it opens up the floor for other guys as well too. So it, it, it's been good having him, and also Michael Porter too as well yeah, having yeah, him yeah, back. Yeah. You know, when, yeah. So he he spaces out the floor, and I just feel like everybody just contributing in, in the right way. Mm-hmm. How has Jamal's role kind of shifted your role within the rotation? I feel like it hasn't shifted my role because you know, for me, I, I'm just that you know that spark. Yeah, you come out and just being myself, and uh, you know, everybody was just telling me just go in and just get busy. Like you ain't no, you know, just because he ain't with me or if he if I'm playing alongside him, I feel like we much more dominant if yeah. I'm on the same if I'm on a, if I'm sharing a court with him. So I feel like it's, it's fun though. Like yeah. if you see a lot of pictures and stuff, I'm always talking to him. It's just we just smiling and having yeah. fun because it, it's I, I really be feeling like nobody can guard us when we out there. So it's, we just having fun. <laughs> Is he a good trash talker? <laughs> so sometimes like I feel like Molly is t- the type of trash talker he is. I feel like it's not direct. Yeah. But it's like to himself. It's like a, it's like an inner talk to us. You know, it's it's not like like he talking to everybody else like how I do. It ain't like that. You know, yeah. but he definitely like he'll get himself pumped up. Like he'll look out the crowd sometimes, talk trash. But sometimes I feel like he talk trash in his in his to, like to his inner self. Interesting. Do you guys ever play ones against each other? We ha- we have Spencer Dinwiddie on here. He thinks he would win. <laughs> lost. He would yeah. be the king what of the court. Do y'all playing? Okay, <laughs> no. Spence, you gotta come back. But uh, no, we haven't played ones. Like, okay. if we play ones, it's probably in practice. But like, it's like a a, a BS ones. Like, it ain't mm-hmm. really like no nobody trying to like. We we going at each other, but like, it's, I feel like game go to like the three, and then we move on to the next spot. Game go to two. Like, it ain't no really ones where you really like locking in and going against each other. And also, like, we were not trying to hurt each other too. Okay, yeah. so, 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 so but knowing that we in season, you know, right, right, right. From a guard standpoint, if you playing ones, because we asked Spencer Dinwiddie on here, he said nobody, yeah. you know, nobody nah, wants. No, nobody's being me in ones. I promise you that. Okay, nobody's being me in ones. We need to- like at the guard spot, no. <laughs> Would you like to see them add ones to the All Star game? Yes, for sure. I feel like, you yeah, said you I'm there. I'm going to ignite the crowd. Yeah, know me. Yes, on. Yes. Yeah, let's do it. It's busy. NBA, make it happen, so, please. Please need that. Yeah, need so then we were saying that, that that they couldn't do ones because they want they need to be LeBron and Giannis and Big. But I'm I'm I want to see Bones I, oh, Highland versus Spencer. Yeah, oh, I'll pay twenty nine ninety five pay per view <laughs> plus <laughs> taxes. I will pay that to watch that. Let me that. get in there. I'll but buy a ticket. That's how I grew up, though. You know, yeah. playing one-on-one basketball. Like, you know, I, I grew up on that. Playing threes, twos, ones. Like, I grew up on that. So that's that's really, like, my strength. Talking once is a video of you cooking some dudes. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I yeah. Before we first interviewed you, like, oh, shit. Yeah. It seemed like there was smoke after it. <laughs> yeah. I'm, it and was they like, cut it off. I'm yeah. like, yo. Everybody was waiting. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you know, well, how did that go after that? Um, You know, we went up to each other. Like, it was pushing and stuff like that. But I feel like it, it didn't really get to, you know, scuffling. Yeah, which yeah, which yeah. is a good thing, though. You What's know, up, it, yeah. it's competitive basketball. But I feel like he was out of pocket for doing that. But I also seen, like, um. You know, I feel like I just seen business guys on the side. I ain't really want like have a bad name on my you know, sure, resume. Sure. So I just was like, I, he got that one. I already just killed him in the one. So we ain't even ready to do that. <laughs> How did that situation come across? Because you was like, you was dead serious. I'm gonna <laughs> bake this man. man. You could tell when you was playing. You feel Cause, me? like so it was after uh, it's, it's this one league called Check Rock League. Okay, and um, is it ones or is not, it? Nah, it's like a uh, like a five on five okay, league. Okay, cool, You cool, know, cool. so this was after uh, one of the Check Rock leagues, and we just sitting on like the benches and stuff. We just talking. And um, while the game's going on, you know, we just having basketball talk. So they doing like a whole lot of comparisons and stuff. I really never like get brought up in the comparisons, right, you right, know. Right, so right, right. they like was just talking, you know, and, and out of nowhere, I get brought up in the comparisons. What they saying, like, oh yeah, uh, I like me over uh, uh, bones and da da. He said it's right in front of you, like you want yeah, there. Yeah, I'm like, whoa, 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 we ain't ready to do that though. I ain't tolerating <laughs> disrespect though. So like, I'm like, come on, man, don't do that. I'm like, it's a court right there, and go lock in. So right, right. 
I mean, it was two guys who, you know, they, I feel like they just let their pride get in the way. It was a whole lot of people around, you <laughs> feel me? They wanted to act like they the, you know, tough yeah. guy in moments. So I'm like, it's a court right there, you feel me? And then we just locked in and I was playing no games. I, <laughs> it was on. But the second guy, though, that's why I really wanted, though. Why, he was talking why worse. is that? Okay, okay. He was talking the worst, though. Was the he first... the person that made the comparison initially or was the other yeah, person? Yeah, it was okay. really him because he was saying, like, he was over me at first. I'm like, come on, right? ain't even close, bro. Like, <laughs> what's up, bro? What year was this your career? Like, um, this might have been, yeah, this, this yeah. might have been like 27. 17. Okay, yeah, okay, 2017. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. So you was ranked all that shit and he was talking, he had smoke. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't even know if I was ranked. I was just yeah. one of those underdogs who was just ready for everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's talk about Joker. Yeah. Having an, another like phenomenal season. Mm -hmm. Why is he the MVP? You know, people get like, you know, voter <laughs> fatigue and all that. Yeah, but yeah, like yeah. he's still, like he liked that, bro. I feel like like he just he just makes the game so easy, man. Like scoring, distributing, and the fact that he's doing it still with with a healthy team. You know, and he didn't take like a back seat right, and like right. just relax. That just like proves how dominant he is still to this day. And like even when like games he's not really he won't have a thirty five or, or or forty, something like that. He still has a triple double. So it's like it's really crazy how he just, you know, keep evolving every year and keep getting better. So, you know, he definitely had my vote for MVP. I feel like it ain't even close, bro. It yeah. ain't. I feel like it ain't. Do you feel at all bad for the guys like Luca who are playing very well but aren't gonna win MVP? <laughs> yeah, this year? because I feel like he just makes it. You can't deny it what he's doing. Like, oh, I agree. And, and, I, and, and I understand what Luca's doing, but I just feel like Yoke is. Just, I don't know, man. I feel like he's just having a better season, man. I feel like he really is. I feel like he really is. But Luca's having a phenomenal year, though. It's your second year with Jokic. Yeah. How has it evolved within this new healthier team, and what's he doing to kind of elevate his game? For 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 me, for my second year, like I got so used to when the ball coming to me or when a pass coming to me, or sometimes like when to give him the ball, you know, in, in the pocket pass and stuff like that. I feel like we just had that connection now. You know, just within the team, I feel like everybody's much more relaxed too as well. I feel like he got some pressure off his shoulders, you know, from carrying a, a huge low last year. So like, I feel like this year he's much more relaxed and he's just really playing just his game. And I feel like he's trusting us, you know, his teammates even more. So it's really it's, it's really good though. Now you said that he's the the greatest passer. Yeah. That you've ever seen. Yeah. How long did it take you to get comfortable catching catching those dimes? Because yeah. he he throws some stuff sometimes. <laughs> yeah. And for I mean, a novice hooper, they're not going to be like, oh, I'm fumbling that. Yeah, for sure. I've, I've, it's not hard to catch, but I feel like, you know, you always got to stay on your, you know, you told you got to be ready for the pass. You know, like for me, I know when the pass coming down. Like I just know. But I feel like if you never play with him um, and you just in a corner or you you just, you just you know, sitting on the wing or something, something you don't know when the pass coming if you haven't played for him. Maybe the ball, you tip out your hands or something like that. But you, you really got to be ready at all times. Okay. Yeah. The no look shit, that's the shit that, yeah. you don't even yeah, be looking yeah, sometimes. Right. Yeah. Watching this, sometimes I'm looking like, how did he even make that? Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't see it from <laughs> like the four different yeah. views, and you still see it coming. You yeah, still know sure. what's coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, Do you just know where to, you know where to be? I mean, is yeah, that a, the way the offense is. I, yeah. I, I know if I just stay right here, <laughs> it may not look like I'm gonna yeah. get the rock. Like, I don't want to get, a, I don't want to get a salsa, but like when I know on a uh, select spot on the floor that he is, I know the ball coming to me. Okay, like, for sure. Ninety five percent of the ten, I know. We don't want your secrets either. We ain't gonna tell the people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, don't say shit. I'm part of that. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> so what's up with the suits, man? When did he start wearing suits? And how do you feel about that? Um, I don't know when he obviously started wearing suits. I don't know if this was three years, but my first time seeing him wear suits was last year. But I feel like he's really starting to like tap in and wear suits a lot now. Like in this, I feel like he, you know, he, he has some nice suits. But yeah. personally, for me, I'm not wearing no suit. <laughs> it's over with. Over with. I ain't wearing no suit, bro. It's over with. Nah, I, I can't. I can't get down like that. Nah, for sure. So top three dressed on the on the team. Who would you, who do you pick? Um, I know I, I saw a video where you was like prepping, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yo, am I right? I'm gonna uh, kill him today, you feel me? <laughs> um, I feel like we got a lot of like um, country swag on the team. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't it's like boot scooting swag, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like it, ain't, it ain't a whole lot of like, like very like, Denver, you know. Yeah, what yeah. Yeah. Like some, a lot of Cali, a lot of like you know laid back country swag. But oh. but for well, me, how do you define that? What's country swag look like? Like I feel like sometimes they got like a um like just a, almost like a laid back fit. Okay, like it ain't really like like. Like oh, like you know, you putting like, oh, he, oh, he got, putting that that, shit on. got yeah, that shit on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but but that's like, cool. Yeah, like, yeah, you cool. You feel me? You gonna feel that? You gonna feel this late? But then you were like, oh my god, you know, like yeah, yeah. So I don't know. That's how I feel. How would you define what, what you put on? Yeah, yeah, that drip. Put on, put it on. Put <laughs> I it see on. the Dior shoes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I gotta ask you a super random question, but you know, I don't know if you partake in the Denver nightlife. Obviously, we talked about the Avalanche that won a championship. Yeah, Broncos. 
didn't have the, the greatest year. So when y'all see like the Broncos of the club, are y'all rolling with them or like, oh, no, hey, we can't yeah. even rock. I, I we mean, don't need I, your mojo on us. <laughs> like, I'm dipping. Get that I, feel like, home. I feel like they have, you know, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, y'all you know, funny, man. Yeah, right. I, I want like, their table and uh, we run this shit now. <laughs> they over there with that, you feel me? Like, we don't want me next door. Right, right. right. Yeah, we can't. We're ugly over there we right rock now. with y'all, but we can't. Right, you know. But now, personally, though, I feel like um they have like such a new team. You know, Russell Wilson over there, new quarterback this year. You know, he had to get used to the offense and stuff like that, used to the team. But, you know, at the end of the day, I feel like he's a, a great quarterback. You know, I feel like a lot of people bash him just from off, uh, you know, not one of his best uh, best seasons. Yeah, but, so, yeah, yeah, you know, but I feel like I wouldn't do that to if I see them in the club. I wouldn't do that cause, because at the same time, they come to our games, you know, support us and stuff like that. I won't, I won't do that to them, man. That, for the club, yeah. Russ. <laughs> you see, no, I see Zach with the, the Seahawks hat. Not, right? Yeah, like, we ain't expecting I'm just, that. Like, I looked at Zach's uh, Seahawks hat and I was just made me yeah. think about Broncos. Right. You're quietly, mischievously grinning just like <laughs> <laughs> Broncos country, ride your ass. All right, else. right. So you a meme now, G. Yeah. And we got to talk about the play. Because I didn't know if you was trying to, trying to boom on this dude or you yeah. was just like, I'm going to freak this man real quick. But in the video, it kind of looked like you was like, yeah, like, I'm really like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you almost so, surprised like, yourself, it almost seemed so, a little so bit. So look, so when, when the play happened and I got like the um the pass from KCP, I felt like he was trailing me behind a little bit. So mind you, I've been doing like this jelly layup since I was like 19 years old. So like, I'm already used to like going it's up. It's, 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 it's natural, like how the ball just go in my hand, how I flick it and just lay it. It's natural. So you know, when I'm when I, when I was on a break and I just feel like he went up. If you see on the highlight, I like pulled his jersey like like kind of closer towards me. Yeah. I just lay, I went up and I like, when I went up though, I like, I looked towards like, not towards the basket, but like away from it. I just laid it from there and I fell and I'm like, I'm like, ref, you ain't gonna call that? Oh, like, that's true. Yeah, like, it wasn't it was that, in the camera, no. like, yeah, sports center me, <laughs> top 10 me, you know no, what I mean? I definitely seen where the, where the, uh, where the camera was, okay. but my reaction was like, ref, you're not gonna call that? I was saying that to the, to the camera okay, though, okay. you know, like that was my, my reaction. No, so we were talking before the show. I watched that clip about 50, 11 times. Yeah. <laughs> but just Crazy. because when you shot it, you didn't even look at the, you just looked at the ball. <laughs> and how, like, just what, I've never been that sweet as a basketball player where I could not just look. And it's like, I was just going to go in. <laughs> Maybe got lucky once or twice. But how, like, what level of just in the zone do you got to beat? I mean, I know you say you practiced that since you were nine. Were you looking at the rim when you were nine, though? I mean, you, like, oh, of course, yeah, when okay, I, was I was nine, saying, yeah. But, like, as the years evolved, like, I got so comfortable with just, like, that type of layup and, like, the finesse around the rim and stuff like that. I feel like that layup was just so easy to okay. me. And if you if I pull up, like, clips of me doing a layup, like, back in the day and stuff, you'd be like, wow, like, he really been doing this layup for a minute. Yeah. And I feel like when I did it, everybody was surprised because that's the first time they see me like lay somebody like that. But yeah. I've been doing this layup for years and years though. So so you pulled them closer. What's yeah, the yeah. science behind that? Like why do you, <laughs> like, like, why like, do you, like, you like, want to like, smell them? Like you want them to smell you like, yeah. Bro, 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 I'm, just, bro, I'm just being disrespectful. Like, like come just here. Just a little bit more like, see yeah, like, like, come here. Come here. Come here. Right, 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 right. I see the better view. Hey, if I'm the NBA, I got to find you for that. That's, just too <laughs> That's too disrespectful to our right, game. Right, right. Then you wanted to foul after that too. Let me hand one and two. Like, like, come here and get lazy. Did you hear the refs? Like if I'm if I'm officiating that game, and I'm near you and I see you do that, yeah. I would apologize to you for not calling. Them. Man, like I if you look up. at the clip, they really fouled me. I, I was just I was watching. Crazy body. Like, dang, he fouled I would just go me. see if he was looking at the rim. I, was, I, was, I, I feel like we was up so much points. I feel like the ref, like, man, I ain't calling that. Did they, did they put that clip in film? Like when the team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they did. They did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like everybody just went bonkers. Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, you oh won. God. Right, right, <laughs> run it back. <laughs> um, you were. Part of another kind of clip that went viral, yeah. which was you and Jalen Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know you said you guys are you guys are cool, so yeah. there's no beef there. But talk a little bit about what happened in that moment. Is it are you sort of like when you see a guy like doing this, you're yeah. like, I'm going at you now. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So like when I had the ball, I was waiting for like uh, you know, the clock to go down and uh he was just clapping and uh, I was looking at the clock, and I looked down. I keep seeing him clap. I'm like, nah, I'm ready to go at him. <laughs> right, right, right. I'm going like, that's Need disrespectful, that. bro. But I feel like he wanted to, you know, for me to go at him too, though. You know, yeah. I feel like it, it was one of those games, like, we're going at each other on both ends, you know. So I feel like it, it was one of those games where, like, he clapping and wanted me to go back at him. So when I did it, yeah, I feel like he was over uh, overly aggressive with me, and um, I just, like, put my elbow out and like push him down. And when he got up, he like, watch that young fella. I'm like, man, watch what? <laughs> and, then it just, it just like, <laughs> and then like, we got jelly faces and da da da. So uh, then the refs came over, then he came back over and shook my hand. Yeah, for like, sure, for sure. respect for you, da da da. Like, we good, da da. So it was, it, was, it was good though. I got a lot of respect for you. My note from, 
from the play was seeing him clap as Jalen's looked at it as like a very good defender. Yeah, the yeah, fact yeah. he's doing that with you sort of seems like he wants the challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How good you are. So that's what I'm there's, there's a lot of respect, you know, yeah. and uh, you know, even after the game, like he's always telling like, you know, how cold I am, stuff like that. So just to hear that from, you know, uh all stars and stuff defender, like yeah, yeah, you know, and elite defender as well. It it feels really good just to be that have that competitive spirit as well I too. So it's been well documented that you don't run from smoke. Yeah. We've got the All Star game coming up soon. So if you had to put together an All Star starting lineup oh. of NBA players who don't duck smoke, you can include yourself. What would that starting lineup be? Me, Ja. Yo. Uh, That's crazy. Yeah. That's a good thing. We're off to the And your games start. remind me of each <laughs> yeah. other, too. For real. Uh, me, Ja, Dame, um, Giannis, Yo. Okay. I thought I was gonna say wow. bones, 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 bones. <laughs> I thought he was gonna be like, and I would have respected him. I, him. Say, yeah, I, I cannot argue with that list. <laughs> you talked about Ja. You're having a great season too, yeah. and Ja shouted you out. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you, you're sure. his favorite player to watch. Yeah. How does that feel? Like seeing somebody that you like mimic your games or similar. Yeah. Similar. You know. Um, what I mean? It feels good, man. Just to know, like you know, my work is being noticed, and um, you know, I feel like I'm rising in the league and stuff like that. So I feel like it 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 feels really good, I man. To know, you know, guys that's all star players, they they really watching, you know, around the league. So it felt good. Even at, when we played them, like he just was laughing with me the whole time that's on crazy. the game. Like I'm like, yo, why he keep I'm like, I'm trying to lock in, he keep wanting to make jokes and like, like I'm like, Ja, chill, man. Like You so gotta I, be careful. <laughs> no, no, that's that's <laughs> the, that's the old head mind you know, trick. I'm like, gonna like, get you catch you slipping, you that's know. That's the I mean? old head mind really trick. Did, though. I really feel like he did right, because right, I really right. didn't go off high. I usually go off against something, you so know. He got so you? I think he got me, yo. I, no, I think that man. was a jaw tack, yo. Better I think remove, he got me. But, but nah, though, man. Much respect to Ja. You know, he's having a phenomenal year, so much respect to him. Who's your favorite player to watch? He said you were his. Who's your favorite player to watch? I mean, Ja too, man. I, Crazy. Yeah, yeah, That's fire. And That's they've been fire. that before, like he shouted me out. You know, yeah. like I always like watching Ja play. Just how, you know, the the flair and the swag you bring to the game. Like, I'm like, man, like I, I bring swag and flair to the game too. And just to oh. watch somebody else do that, like it, it, it's really fun to watch. So I gotta ask you and Ja running once. Bezzy. That's a seven series. Who's winning the series? Bezzy, I'm telling you. In Bezzy. four or six? Like what we what, what, what we what we running? Uh, Best of seven. I probably I'd probably be in six. Okay, probably okay, six. that's respectful. You got to come to altitude, and then you got to go to Memphis. You got to even it out. Even it out. You know, it's... <laughs> that'd be that'd really be a good one on one game though. Right, right. Not nah, gonna nah, but I feel like my shooting ability though would, would like really like you know. Make me win a lot of games. The four point line, hard yeah. to guard. You know what I mean. So, which player has been the toughest player for for you to guard, like in the league? I probably would year, say like you know uh, mean? probably like a, a Steph. Just and I say Steph because like he's so much dangerous off of the ball. I feel yeah. like it's, he's not hard to guard on ball, but like off the ball, if you just take your eye off of him, like he yeah. you he running to the corner for a three, yeah. like you just don't, you can't relax. I have to be so aware playing yeah. against him, like I can't take no steps off, like I had to be so aware. So for him, I feel like it's, it's really him though. To follow up though, on the ball, who's the guy? Um, Cause I really don't get like matched up against like, sure. you know, yeah, the, yeah. The, like the guys who like stars on the team. Yeah, yeah. Usually probably showing or something, or you know, if I black, they, they come double team. So I, I really don't, I really haven't had that one on one sit yeah. down, like, mm -hmm. you know, with a player, but I really can't even say, hang okay. on. So, so you have never had anybody give you buckets? Like, you ever like, yo, this dude kind of. Nah, a bit. nah, yeah. nah. Cause I feel like I, I never guarded the like the a star player on another team. You know, it's always like AG or KCP, Bruce Brown. Like they always guard them. Mm -hmm. So yeah. really, never had the chance to really guard them. So when you guarding Steph, I know you like to talk a little bit. Yeah. Are you talking shit to Steph? Is he talking back? We had we had Boogie Cousins on the show, and yeah. he said he went up against Tim Duncan, and, and Tim wasn't really talking shit. Yeah, yeah I see. But he that. would just say little stuff. <laughs> and we've seen the clips of Steph, like the the, the clip against the Grizzlies. You know, yeah, he yeah. rolled up on the whole crew. Is he talking back, or is it like a light skinned Tyler of shit talk? Like, oh, man, what? like he doesn't say anything. <laughs> he don't. Now that nah, just, nah, that's the worst part. Anything. Talk though, the yeah, numbers talk. They do for sure. But yeah. he, I feel like you know when he bombing trades, he's like he don't say anything, man. Like even if he run off, like like. Threes or he get into the rack and he's killing. I feel like he's, it's it's like a another like um like another Jamal where they they talk to themselves. It's an inner trash talk. It ain't really to like to you, you know. But he's turning his he's, back on his on shots, looking at like the sideline. Yeah, he ain't saying yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just Terminator with it. Yeah, like, he, like he's not saying. He just turn around and go in. And he when just he's run like back. the the the, yeah. the you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but he's, but he's doing. He's hitting he you with it. Like, like, he, yeah. he ain't saying like night night. Like yeah, yeah he ain't saying like, oh, that, that's wild. Yeah. That be what I need. That's villain shit. <laughs> night <laughs> night. <laughs> bro, I might have to. Bro, like yo, are you talking shit to Steph at all? 
I mean, for me, like, nah, not really. I okay. feel like I, because like, he doesn't, like, guard me. Like, I've always put the best defender on me. So, like, okay. if he's guarding me and I'm, I score on him, yeah, of course, I'm, I'm going right at him. Like, I'm talking to you. saying he can't guard no, you, though, Banks. Yeah, you just yeah, said he could guard you, yeah. <laughs> it ain't no, like, I ain't running, like, trying to pick, pinpoint who I want to talk, talk trash to. Now, everybody yeah. gets so you. So, who, who, okay, so anybody that's put in front yeah, of you, yeah, yeah, it doesn't anybody, matter. Yeah. And they know that, anybody. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he said, they know that, too. Yeah. So, you set a new career high against the Mavs. Yeah. You know, you was in a crazy zone. You for know what sure. I'm saying? Dropping dimes. You was yeah. feeling yourself. You could tell. <laughs> yeah, for How sure. How did that feel to be in that, in that zone? Man, it felt good, man. Just a, you know, every, and the, the game before, because we played them back to back. Yeah, but yeah. The game before, like, I'm like, they was like double teaming me. So I'm like, and I, I felt like I wasn't really aggressive enough. Double with, teaming you? With the double team, yeah. So the next game, you know, I was watching film in my, in my room like the whole night. I'm like, yeah, yeah, how yeah. can I beat this double team? How can I, you know, be aggressive within the double team? Knowing that I'm quick, I'm shifty, I can right, get around right, the double right, team. Sure, and it's a sure. weak double team, you know? So. I'm like, man, I got, I got to be more aggressive. I got to be way more aggressive. And um, I felt like, you know, as the game kept going on, I felt like I was just in the zone. It was just no stopping me. Right, I was right, in the right. zone, bro. But we had everybody out, though, like all the starters. Like we had like eight players available. And I'm just like, man, I, I'm going to win this game, though. Like I, I told like myself, like I'm not leaving Dallas without, without a win. For sure. I told myself that. I swear to God. On the note of career highs, league-wide scoring is kind of crazy right now. Yeah. What do you attribute that to? Is it – Defenses aren't defensing right now. What's what's going on? Probably that, yeah, but uh <laughs> defenses aren't defense. Y'all niggas ain't like, defensing. Like it became so much of a scoring league. Like yeah. I feel like, you know, people have like I wouldn't say like master scoring, but like people are evolving. Like NBA players are evolving as you know, scoring the basketball, like picking their spots, people have got better, you know, so I feel like no defense, even if their teams are defensing, like I feel like you just can't stop, you know, certain players from scoring. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. like they know when to pick their spots, they know when to get them up. And when they in that rhythm, it's kind of hard to take them out. So I feel like it's a, it's really, uh, you know, it's skill becoming, it's yeah, you know, the skill just grown, man. It's becoming a scoring league. So it's your uh, halfway through your, your second season. What's been your favorite or the coolest moment for you in your NBA career so far? You know, like last year uh, around Christmas when – you know, I was able to uh, get my family all the Christmas gifts that they wanted. And okay. We, and they was able to, you know, give me Christmas gifts and stuff like that because we never had that, you know, moment for us. When we was younger, it was always hard for us to, you know, get what we wanted. Um, you know, my mom, she she was always a hard worker. You know, that's my queen, my rock, my everything. And, uh, you know, I feel like it was just really hard for us when we was younger to, you know, get what we what we wanted. We would go to school and uh, we would see all the kids with the new J's on, the hoverboards, just, just everything. And um, I remember, like, three days before telling my mom, like, I wanted to this one hoverboard and um I used to always go around the corner to my friend's house and they they really got whatever they want you know and uh they at like soon Christmas hit like I went around and they all had hoverboards and um I woke up with no hoverboard and that like I'm like damn I just cried you know I'm like mom where the hoverboard at and she's just like you know couldn't get it da 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 you know it just went off from there so now like I feel like the biggest moment you know for me in my career was was definitely Christmas last year Mm-hmm. You talk about family a lot. You talk about Wilmington a lot. You know, what does that mean to you? Tressy gang, all of that. Like, yeah. what does that mean to you to have that foundation? You seem like you keep a, you know, a close-knit yeah. group of people Fam- around Family you. is everything to me, man. Like, I feel like if it wasn't for my family, I, feel, I don't know where I would be at. Yeah. Like, I, I, I'm i big on family. Uh, you know, I feel like me and my family is just so close mm-hmm. and we're just so tight. Um, I feel like there's no breaking that. And uh, I have to keep my family close and, you know, my circle uh, tight because that's just how I grew up. That's how my mom raised me. Yeah. She never let me go, you know, out and just, you know, the other people's houses and stuff like that to stay the night. And that, that really made me, like, have that um, – just that, that tight feeling of where I, I don't want to go to other places or go to somebody's crib, you know, just to be their friend or just something like that. I feel like that that really, like, you know, helped me, you know, become the person I am today. And I saw your draft party, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, you got, you know, there's a, you get a lot of love in Wilmington, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, sure. what does that mean to you, too? Everything, because I feel like, you know, growing up in Wilmington, like, I always got a lot of love down there, but... You know, in that jab party, that, that really showed me, like, wow, like, like you know. It's emotional, too. Yeah, you beautiful know. Beautiful to see, man, and, you and your mom. Yeah, and it was really like, man, like, I got so much support here. You know, even when, a, you know, the house fire tragedy happened, like, I feel like the worldwide support was just there. Like, everything was just, I feel like I, I'm such, like, a, a a kid who's just loved by many. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel like, and I, and I give that off to a lot of people. So, when you, when you give, you know, that type of energy to people, I feel like you get it back in tenfold. So, I'm so, you know, happy that, you know, Wilmington, you know, rock with me. And the people, you know, that's not from Wilmington, they rock with me as well. So, I'm, I'm very thankful for that. When you have family in the building, 
and you're going off. Do you know where they're sitting? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. I, uh, so, like, at home, I know where my mom's sitting. Yeah. And, like, if I'm running off three traces in a row, like, you'll see me in the crowd, like, ah, I throw, like, a heart to my mom. That's, like, oh, that's yeah, fire. Yeah, that's, 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 like, beautiful. It's on a video, yeah. too, on my Instagram. Like, I throw, like, a heart to yeah, my mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I know where my mom at. <laughs> right on. I want to ask NBA legends, right? Like, we're seeing this skill growth in the league. Yeah. How would you do if given 34 attempts against Kurt Rambis? How many points are you scoring? Who's that? <laughs> All right, fair. Very exactly. Fair. Very exactly. fair. All right, we'll do it. No, no, no. Do, do you know Bob? We can cut the second. We cut it, yeah, yeah. You know Bob Cousy? I better Cousy? keep that shit. I heard of Bob Cousy. Okay. Yeah, Bob Cousy. Yeah, yeah. How many do you think you'd give Bob Cousy? Ah, oh, man. A lot. <laughs> so it, yeah, it would be a lot. for. It would be a long night for Bob Cousy. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Pete we, Maravich, though. Oh. You're, cold, a P, you're a P cold, fan yeah, though. Yeah, you're talking Pete. about P. You know yeah, what I'm saying? For sure. Did you ever do homework basketball? Yeah, 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 for sure. okay, yeah. I mean, yeah. my uh, like my childhood coach, like he always used to make me like watch Pete Maravich yeah. and mm -hmm. like study him. I'm like, man, like I didn't know who he was at first because we used to the you know the Magic's, the Jordans, the yeah, da da. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. But I mean, this is like a, a, a underground like you know legend to me. And I'm right, like, right. man, like you know Pete Maravich cold. Like yeah. you know, not watch highlights. I'm like seeing the stuff he's doing with the basketball, the drills and everything. I'm like, yeah, he cold. I still do that. Like, like the throw it back, try to yeah, catch it. Yeah, like that. I still do that. <laughs> he's doing that, <laughs> yeah. bro. He doing it back. so fast. That was literal <laughs> magic back then, bro. Like, bro, like he, he was, spun you know the ball on his finger for like an hour. Crazy. They had like bro. a movie too that came with it that was baller. Like. <laughs> he was different, bro. I don't know. I don't know how he did that type. But stuff. would you give him that work? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Make Michelle, it sure. Yeah, most definitely. We talked about this a little bit, but who was your favorite player growing up? High sauce. I'm not going to go into what I went into when you rapped about it, but like, why is that your favorite player? Don't try to bash my boy, man. I mean, I'm not bashing him tell the facts. I saw the man get baked, but hey, that's neither here nor there. I'm glad he, you know, you know, he put you know, I'm not trying to bash, man. He got cooked by a guy named David. They say they say he was ketchup. Like, bro, they say more like ketchup. He's trying to bash my Man came off the street and smacked him around. That's all. But let's talk about you. This is about you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why hot sauce? I feel like, you know, <laughs> me growing up, I, I didn't like, of course, AI, but I feel yeah, like yeah. there wasn't a lot of players with that swag and just that, mm -hmm. do the things that he would do with the basketball, yeah. like his wiggle, you know, his swag that he brought to the game, just everything. I'm like, man, like, that's really me, man. Like, you know, just have that swag, that's really me. So I'm just, I go to the mirror every day after school. You know, I, I eat a bowl of cereal first, but now I watch his highlights and I eat a bowl of cereal. And um, right after I'm eating a bowl of cereal, I grab a basketball, go to the mirror, put the phone up and just watch, like, his highlights and, and just do the same moves that he doing. Then yeah, I yeah, go yeah. to the gym and I practice the moves. I'm like, yeah, that's my guy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what, what kind of cereal were you on? Um, it was like Captain Crunch. Okay. Uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I wasn't allowed. I wasn't allowed to have that, so I always respect the people who are able to eat Captain Crunch. <laughs> do, you think, do you think YouTube is feeding into this like next skill boom that we're seeing? Because like for you being able to watch that stuff on your phone yeah. or these this next generation that's coming up mm -hmm. there are levels of skill that you guys have cuz round the clock you've had access to those videos for sure you think that's helped guys yeah for sure i feel like youtube has, has helped uh, i feel like everybody and you can mm. search up anything on youtube and like it pop up and you just learn something new and uh i feel like they they doing a much better job of it, like if, with, with your search bar yeah. and what you're searching on YouTube, I feel like w once you like close the app and you go back on the app, it's giving you the videos that's like along with the video that you're searching up. Mm -hmm. You know, so if I search up a house, algorithm is yeah, algorithm. Yeah, you know, so yeah. it's really good how yeah. YouTube does that. Like I don't want to see like um you know animals or something on my on my YouTube. If What's I ain't, wrong with animals, yes. what ain't have animals done to you? He's not wrong with the animals, but yeah. that's not his taste. Yeah. Peter gonna be on our head. <laughs> Bones Highland, like, anti-animal. I, I just know, I just know, like, I ain't clicking that, you know? No. So right, for sure. I, I feel for like sure. YouTube does a good job of, like, you know, making sure, you know, you like what you like on YouTube and you're going to watch that. So I feel like they do a good job of that. I'm a tad bit older than you. So I just really cool to hear that y'all have YouTube because y'all can see the whole library and archives, everything. Back in my day, we just had to take people's word for it. Yeah. Like, we didn't have no, we just like, oh, yeah, he was cold. Like, okay, I guess my dad says so. so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. now I get to see. Old VHS somewhere with the. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it, but it was so janky like who 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 are like some of your favorite players highlights to watch on YouTube um AI uh Jamal Crawford that makes mm. it up here hot sauce you still watching hot sauce highlights yeah I follow hot sauce so like I see like all the have you guys old met? we haven't met but we like always communicate through like okay. DM and stuff so wow, that's, that's, legendary. that's really a cool moment yeah. for me, man. Like, him, like I don't like, know what it mean to him but I know what it mean to me okay like, it, 
I, I, I don't know what it mean to him, but I, I know like yeah, yeah. hot sauce really like you know made me like really like almost fall in love with basketball. Oh like, wow, that's yeah, fire! You know, so like yeah. I, I feel like he was one of the first men I ever watched to like really like wow like this dude is really good at basketball like and the stuff he do with, with the ball. I feel like I've never seen that before, so I'm like man like hot sauce my guy. Hey, those and one videos like, were baller. They, they, well, I, I, I used to watch them, so no no hate for real. But it yeah. made you feel like this is what basketball could be. be yeah, you, you know, know like I feel like so. he I feel like he brought excitement to the game. And that's yeah, the type yeah. of player that I was. So like when I found somebody you know. That that does that type of stuff like almost as me. I was like, yeah, I, I I like high sauce for sure. I remember you were saying you was dropping fifty balls at like eleven, yeah, yeah, 11 like yeah, yeah, four yeah. point line, no nothing. cabin, no cabin you know for sure. Yeah, that, it was like almost like that's when I like really knew I could do something with basketball and I could be something. And um, you know, not like at, like dropping fifty at age 10, 11, That's that ain't really normal, you know. So I feel like I, I really could do something with basketball. Were, you, were your teammates hating when you did that? <laughs> Um, no, Parents. I feel like my teammates was embracing it. Like, okay. they was on. Or did they just say, give them the rock, give them the, the rock? I feel like it was give them the rock. But sometimes. We yeah. scored 50. <laughs> right, right, right. But sometimes, like, you know, uh, some games, yeah, you know. Okay. But the it, ball always finds me. I'm going to do I'm dealing with that in youth now. I got yeah. a couple of kids, and it's like, some of the kids aren't just, you know, I don't yeah. want to tell them you're not yeah, that nice. Sure. Like, your, your field goal percentage is boo boo. <laughs> you're not a 50 point scorer. <laughs> it's a hard conversation. Screen and just dish the ball <laughs> off. Like, pass the bones. Yeah. Let him cook. Some games, yeah. But some games, it, it wasn't. Okay, for sure. What was your career high in high school? You dropped a 50, um, 58. You know, 58. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. And you remember that game? Like, it was just yeah, it was, it like. Was, it was vividly. It, remember, the game before I had 53. And then, like, two nights after I had a 58. So, it was it was back-to-back 50-point games. Yeah. Were and you playing with shot clocks? Uh, no, but I was getting them up real that's, quick. Though. That's my. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So to drop 58 in a high school game yeah, with no yeah, shot clock yeah, is yeah, even more legendary. Not literally. And the clock was running. So, I'm like, man, I. I'm really you know, get it, get get it off easy though, so and this is what like triple teens and quadruple. This is crazy, you know. Throwing everything, yeah, you everything. Go, you saw the triple coming. Like I'm gonna just let this thing go. I mean, so, <laughs> I mean, I was gonna get my teammates involved too, but like. It was just man. We got a lot of us. 58, bro. You was was going for you and you should have. 58 is crazy. For sure, for sure. But I I feel like sometimes I got them involved. But at the same time, I had to be busy. You got to know your personnel (laughs) in high school. Some some teammates don't need to be involved (laughs) other than (laughs) clap loud, cheer me on, set a screen. Your personnel. You can rebound. I might miss. You can rebound this one, but no. Literally. (laughs) So so last night, or we interviewed Spencer Dinwiddie, and he was saying that when you hit a new career high, it kind of ruins. You know, just a night where you get 25. Did you feel that then after um, going for? Yeah, because it's like, you know, 25 is still a good number. But if you had 50, so I was like, man, that's 25. Like, ain't yeah. it? Like, we're like, like, we're like, like, like. You had the 29 was a crowd on the map. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> How salty are you that it wasn't 30? Like, do you think about that? Like, damn, I could have just got 30. <laughs> yeah. You could have gave me one more dime. <laughs> Honestly, like, I really wasn't that mad because okay. at the same time, we won. And we beat a fully loaded, you know, uh, yeah. Mavs team. Mm. And, you know, I had a really great game. So, I'm like, sure. man, I ain't really care about the 30. Like, I just feel as a I'm hooper, like, if you got nine, you don't get 10, it hurts. If you got 19, <laughs> you don't get 20. Like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I still tell people 20, I'll round up. <laughs> Sometimes my teammate, I mean, not my teammates, but like my friends, like you, they'd be like, "You scared of that thirty ball?" I'm like, "Bro, it just didn't, you know, it didn't work <laughs> out." You know, like, and they'd be trying to get it again. My, I'm like, "Bro, you know, I ain't scared of no thirty ball. Like, thirty right. ball easy to me, bro." Like, come I'm on, not bro. ever met anybody who's scared <laughs> yeah, of they really are, though. Yeah, they are. They always try to push me to the night. Right, today, right, bro. right, right. <laughs> so Shaq doesn't know how to pronounce Bones Highland. Did what? you see that? You ain't see that? Can we no. run the video? Can we run the video? Ain't no way. Bro, he was like, Shaq said it. 12 points by, uh, a, I can't pronounce his name. His name can you not pronounce? That Bones Highland. Bro, it was Hillen. Yo, there's no way. I feel like, I'm not going to lie, I feel like they do that on purpose on, on, on TNT. In TNT. Just the numbers. Cause like, yeah, I wasn't I, familiar with your name. I yeah, apologize. Like they, and they know how to pronounce certain people's names, but I feel like they do that on purpose. This is trying to be funny, yo. I think Shaq might do that with people he respects, too. Yeah, yeah. Because he sure, tries yeah. to push those guys he knows can go crazy. Yeah, you know? and Shaq yeah. does watch the show, so. <laughs> nah, but yeah, they, they definitely cool people, though. What's up, what's yeah. up? This is important to me. You have a sandwich now. What was that kind of like having a sandwich named after you as a man who loves to eat? Yeah. I'm, I mean, I love to eat too. <laughs> you know, they have their goals. I have mine. Yeah. I want a sandwich named after myself. So, what how many was pieces that? of cheese on the sandwich? One. Just one? Yeah. And, uh, the not two? What's the makeup? Not two. How's, 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 how's the sandwich? Ooh, okay. Like, how's, Respectable. How's the of it? So, it's, it's a, uh, like, a, a, like almost like a crab cake sandwich. Oh, um, yeah. It's okay. Real. So, that, that don't sense. need cheese. That doesn't need cheese. Like, real, like, 
good sandwich. But you know, before I I picked that one, I had like five different um meals to pick from, mm-hmm. and uh that was the one that really stuck out to me. I'm like, man, I gotta go with that one. Like, <laughs> yeah. that's it right there. Yeah. Like the first bite, I'm like, whoa, this is crazy. Like, yeah. and, and for me, I'm I'm a big foodie. I'm big on details though. Like, okay. if, if the food don't look like good to me, I ain't eating it. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not eating it. If the food gotta be cute too. You it know, got, it mean? gotta like, it gotta be it gotta be like look good. You know, right, 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 right. I'm not. Well, so what, what if you can share? What were one of the sandwich options? You were like, I'm, I'm not. Right. Uh, uh, it was like a mushroom burger. I yeah, ain't big on that. Yeah, uh, that's how dummy weak yeah, too, dog. Yeah, like, uh, I don't know what's bro, that's mushroom disrespectful. Burger. Like, yeah. hey, but they probably put that there to really hide the one they wanted you. I throw him this mushroom <laughs> probably, burger too. Yeah. He won't fuck with this, but he'll yeah. like this one even I'm more. I'm a big now. fan of mushrooms too, but I just feel like that wasn't the one. Yeah, that wasn't the one. It it's was. too much mushrooms on the burger. Yeah, it was too much going on. What's your pregame meal? Um, I'm like a big like uh, salmon, you know, rice, like broccoli. Okay, okay. with like some Healthy teriyaki sauce. Not even, but like I, I don't want too nothing too like full on my stomach. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, though, we're probably going with a burger or like you yeah, know yeah. something real good. Anyone, though. Is it Caucasian rice or brown rice? Caucasian rice. I can't because I, yeah. I don't eat brown rice. I don't. I can't yeah. fuck. With, I can never. Gritty. It's too dry. Yeah. Yeah. It's too. It's not. It's, it's not moist enough. I gotta go with the Caucasian rice always. What's <laughs> weak though? Quinoa, bro. You don't like quinoa, quinoa boo boo, and well, cauliflower rice. Stop lying. It's to not me, rice. Bro. It's cauliflower. Uh, that's two it's different shit. Right. It's, it's no taste good. to the it's shit. It's not the it's shit, good. No. bro. It's, it's like water, dog. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? I can yeah. drink that shit. I'm cool on it. You <laughs> it's like cauliflower <laughs> flakes or whatever. Right, right. It's not no real rice. Do you have a teammate that has a very odd pregame meal? So I think one of my teammates is like vegan. Okay. Uh, I never like seen what he eats. So, but I know that food probably trash. <laughs> like I know it is. I know that's that fair. Food. I love, I love that answer. I know that food weak. Here's the thing for vegans. <laughs> for vegans food. watching the show, you even tried it. You I, just, you just know yeah, that food weak. That look like a brick, my yeah, boy. Yeah, that, that, but that, why that do was, they make shit that, that looks like meat? Like that you don't fuck with meat. Don't fuck with. Yeah. Don't make the burger to look like. Man, listen. And it's garbanzo that, beans and shit. I know that food ain't got no flavor, man. Right, so, facts. And quit calling vegan barbecue. Like, that is I, not I, 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 barbecue, bro. That's a lie. That's what that is, bro. Real jackfruit. Right, right, right. right. Real no, jackfruit barbecue. No. Get the fuck out of you know here. Having, you about to get me hot in here, bro. <laughs> it it tastes like man. pork. Like right, It mom. tastes like jackfruit. Like, <laughs> My mom is vegan is going to text me, why did you stand up for vegans on the show? <laughs> Mom, I'm, I'm sorry. She's so sweet. So sweet. Yeah, you support yeah. vegans. I'm just saying, eat the regular shit. She if you eat broccoli, yeah. no, like, no, no, man, no, 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 she don't go that hard. Like, you know what I'm saying? She's a great cook. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. I agree. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I've been there. I never, I never sample Amy Schwartz's <laughs> cooking, but I'll take your word for it. Yeah. All right. What is your favorite movie? Um, oh, bro. move. Let me, oh, you want me to tell you? A little dyslexia on that. Sorry. I was like, ooh, I want to know. I want to know. Movie? Do you want a movie or do you want a move? You want a move and a movie. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, I saw I all the same shit, Zach. Like, I'm like, oh, I want to see. That's a weird transition. We talking about jackfruit. Then we going to go to. Hey, Zach, I saw the same shit. I was like, oh, I want to hear a movie. He like. Let's talk after the show, bro. Like, I'm interested in it, though. But this is the one, dog. All right. Yo. What? Yo. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know what, what is I'm... your favorite movie? I gotta go with uh, probably Little Man or Friday. Okay, yeah. Friday, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's Little Man, that makes Friday. Sense. That makes sense. When, yeah. When's the first time you saw Friday though? Cause you're young. Like I'm trying. When that I, shit come out? Do you see it as a young kid? I don't think as a young kid, but I think like middle school probably. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I don't feel like a little little kid. Okay. Yeah, Cause yeah. I'm trying to feel like when it resonated with you because yeah. we all felt the same yeah, way about that, that movie. One? I don't know. I don't know when that came out. Man, that came out. I remember when it came out because we watched it and my stepdad he kind of bougie. You feel yeah. me? And he was like, he got mad because it was so funny and walked away. I don't want to <laughs> laugh at this nigga. <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> this nigga movie. <laughs> don't call the pile ass down, man, bro. This shit fire, dog. Take your weak ass on somewhere, bro. You try to Roger Roots now, but yo, it was, I was in like wow. seven. <laughs> I'm going to send him this clip, too, because he know he was tweaking, bro. He know he was tweaking, though. But yeah, it was like 97, I think, when that came out. So yeah. Well, I think it was before that. It was, 90, it was can like we, can seven we get a grade, confirmation? So it had to be like 95, 94, 94, 94. Yeah, when did Friday come out? Yeah, that's Two? what I'm saying. Like, it was... Oh. 95. 95, I'm Ooh, saying. Yeah. I was in middle school. I'm saying, That might have been Friday after next or the Friday after yeah, the Friday bro. after okay. that Friday. I went on 92. I'm like, bro. <laughs> 95 was a great year. Damn, okay. Bro, 96 was too. Man. Uh, the 90s was special anyway, man. <laughs> all right, before we go, I got to ask, what is your favorite move? It's like the it's like the AI crosser, but like I do it between my legs. Okay. So it's like a... 
between my legs, you know. When did that move resonate for you? Like when, when was... I was young, I got like clips when I was young too, like yeah. me doing it, and it's like I I caught everybody doing this. The move. It works that. every single time. Yeah, every time. Is it to get the shot or to get by somebody? Because I'm like, you know, it's, what I mean? it's to like, get by or to get the shot, and it's like put guys on their heels. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's only, you really, it's only select few players who really know how to do the move. Like, right? AI, you, you see sometimes Ja do it, but I feel like I do it the best though. You okay. gotta have that real wiggle, bro. Yeah, for Cause sure. Cause if you stiff yeah. with it, it's not the cross, yeah, baby. Yeah, literally. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Literally. But you, that's it's under the legs for the yeah, to protect for sure. the rock. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So like you can't yeah. get that. And, and it like legs. like get my base, like if I want to shoot it, yeah, or yeah. like or I can just go. You know, I'm gonna now, start using it more too. So I know feel like that's, that's a move though. With you saying it, like you could tell I'm about to do this shit. Yeah, and it really can't stop it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I've been doing it for so long, man. I feel like I really gotta like you know how AI made that cross over his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that move gotta be me. Yeah, that's what that's what we all. We start that here. The I bonds. Love, I love that you could have footage of like you doing it to high school kids. Yeah, and yeah, NBA Michelle, yeah. And you're still falling over. It's nah, great. literally. It's so beautiful. <laughs> anyway, man, it's always good. Yeah, for sure, so, man. My guy, always man. Always a pleasure on the buckets podcast. Appreciate man. you Appreciate pulling you up, my G. For you know sure. what I'm saying? Bones is, I think, our most our most tenured guest. Yeah, we got to get him a jacket. Got, yeah, something. A wave cap. Jeez. We got to do something. Yeah. Right. Low key yeah. the fade. I ain't going to do The, the self tying <laughs> do rag. <laughs> it's always good energy, too. When you yeah, up too. you can take the Michael Jordan cologne if you want. We got Scotty Pippen cologne coming through. <laughs> Slightly <laughs> less fragrant. Do not want that cologne. Slightly I less fragrant. Yeah, yeah. It's it's our whole oh. office. Like, yeah, Scotty Pippen got to come out with cologne. I'll buy that shit. I'm not even lying. Yeah, MJ smell like grass, though. Don't do it. You want a headache? Do you it. want a headache? Yeah. That's kind of weak. <laughs> Hey, it right, didn't right, it right. didn't smell good in when they came out with it. I think yeah, we just like MJ so much. We were like, all right. Well. It's been in the cellar. It, this smells like bald headed Negro. New episodes drop weekly. You can listen on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. You can also watch on YouTube, comment on the videos, like the video, and make sure to subscribe.